Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So in comparison to the last couple of mail weeks, so this one's going to be a short one. Not too much going on as far as new additions. I have picked up some stuff that I'm sitting and waiting on uh, both to, to ship from eBay and then also uh, ship my cards. But that'll probably be coming up in the next couple of weeks. Things are going to slow down a little bit as I uh, start to hopefully setting some money aside coming up for the expo in June. So we're about a month out from that. So now we're quickly approaching that. I uh, do have a couple of Medano cards to add to that collection, so to the collection. So I'm going to show those first, do the quick Medano account update. We'll do that. And then after, I'll, I'll finish off with three cards from a PWCC. So I had some cards shipped out that I had won from previous PWCC auctions. We'll do that. And then uh, we'll do a couple of vintage cards to finish up. So first one here is going to be post-playing days. Uh, this is from 2012-13 Limited Hockey. So this is the Stanley Cup winners. So kind of a fun card, uh, nice Stanley Cup uh inspired a themed set and then i do have the autograph of this as well so this is the regular version that i needed and these are numbered to 199 so a good addition to the collection always nice to have those this one here is uh, again post playing days uh 2012 13 again opg and this is the you know legends insert taking the old minnesota north stars image and including that in opg card retro style set and this one here is a nice Plain Days card. This one is kind of a fun one. Well, it's not really a card. I wouldn't really classify it as such. This is the uh, 98-99 Aurora Cube. And it literally, funny enough, it's not a cube. It's a rectangle. But you can see it's uh, it's already pre-wrapped like this. And it's got the image. It's got the um, stats on the back. It's kind of interesting. And then there's the numbering there for it. Uh, so this was included with that Opeachy card uh, from the same seller. It's kind of a fun, kind of an interesting little uh, pickup there. So I'll just put that in the back uh, with what I'm going to do, finish up. So three additions to the, uh, to the Medano PC. So that brings the count to 2,345 different Medano cards, 241 autographs. Nothing's been added to that this week. And 549 memorabilia cards. I did have some luck this week actually on eBay uh, finding some stuff for playing days that I'll be able to add, especially someone that some that I had been missing for a while. But that'll be available in an upcoming mail day in a couple of weeks. So in the meantime, let's do the uh, PWCC. So first we'll start off with a modern card, or at least a more modern card. So this one's going to go along with the other uh, Brett Favre autograph that I have. 2004 SP Authentic. Uh, script for success. Brett Favre. So we got that. Nice on-card autograph. Very bold with the blue Sharpie. It is already graded. It is an Auto 10 with a PSA Mint 9. Neat looking card. These are not uh, numbered, but it is a nice one. So it'll be a nice addition to go along with the other one. Nice bold autograph. We do appreciate that. So there you go. Whenever I can see something like this, it's kind of interesting. I don't mind having it. I've got a little bit of a far of mini PC uh, going on inside of a box, but I'm kind of picky what I add to it. So something like this definitely qualifies as something that's a little more interesting for me. Now, that done, let's do a couple of uh, vintage cards to finish this off. These are ones that actually have been sitting in my PWCC vault for a while. So I was waiting for an opportunity to ship, uh, to do one shipment to get a couple of things because it is a little bit expensive to ship it out and then get it down this way. So first one, from 1953 Bowman Color. So this is the Robin Roberts in a CSG 5.5. I think I'm a little bit generous with the centering and everything, but I'll take a closer look at it. I don't mind, though, with the CSG holder looking as nice as it does. Nice image on the Robin Roberts card. Pretty clean. It's got a little standing in the back, so a little bit there going on. But that's why I say it might be a little generous for 5.5. I know the CSG is pretty tough on grading as far as modern is concerned, but I have to do a little comparison to see how it looks like as far as uh, vintage. But nonetheless, I was happy with the price versus the quality car of the card ratio, and I felt like I paid a decent price for it. So, so that's the second one here. Uh, this one's going to be BVG this time around. So I have my own thoughts on BVG. Same kind of same kind of vein. It's kind of interesting. So this was from 53 Tops. So 253 cards to finish up. This was the 53 Tops Yogi Berra. So I'm not officially doing the set, but at the same time, I don't mind accumulating Hall of Famers for this while I can. So when the opportunity presents itself, same general idea. I was pretty happy with the price on this one. Condition price, and it, the card shows nicely. Of course, it's got a lot of wrinkles on it. It's a 1.5. So, but still a nice clean card. Good addition to that. And then I've com compiled a checklist on both of these sets. So I may end up kind of concurrently doing the 253 sets kind of quietly on the side, just accumulating cards, having a little bit of fun putting that together. In the same vein, like I said, it's been a very productive week, kind of quietly on the side. I unofficially have finished my 54 Bowman set. And I say unofficially because I've ac acquired the cards that should take care of it for me. But I need to wait for them to come in hand, scratch everything off, make sure and double check the set. 
But once I do, uh, I should be able to confirm that it's complete and then I'll do a little uh, showcase then. I'll start fiddling around with the table here and see if what I can do to give you a nice uh, overhead shot and go through the set in its entirety once, I, once everything's complete. Anyway, so that's it for this time around. More videos coming up on the channel. Live streams Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time as we usually do, talking about any hobby-related topics. We'll have a little bit more going on. I have a feeling during the summer and into the fall, we're going to be doing a little bit more vintage coming up here. Uh, because while I still have definitely some modern and some Medano stuff that I'm working on, some shiny inserts and parallels and, uh, you know, refractor kind of things. But at the same time, uh, definitely I want to see some opportunities. And I'm also going to be slowing down some categories as I shift things around a little bit. So I'll talk a little bit more about that in some other videos coming up. But that'll be it for this one. Thanks very much. We'll catch you in the next one.